Hey, and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I want to show you a new library that I've made called uh, pygfx.h. All this is is just a, an include file for the pygfx card. Uh, if you don't know, the pygfx card is a project um, up on GitHub right now. And what it does is it takes a Raspberry Pi a 0 through Raspberry Pi 4, and you can basically hook up any RC20014 compatible board to it and use it as a graphics card. Um, it has an integrated ANSI terminal, but it goes well beyond just ANSI stuff. Uh, you can do line drawing, shape drawing, uh, sprites, sprite detection, sprite collision, um, different fonts, although you can't really load fonts on the fly right now. You have to recompile from source, but luckily, it is very easy to compile from source. In fact, I am able to do it. And if I'm able to do it, so can you. Uh, so here is the rudimentary uh, readme for my include file. I tried to keep it, um, I tried to keep all the function names seven characters or less so we can use it with Aztec C. Uh, however, this works much better with, a, with an actual Z80 compiler, Z80C compiler, uh, because it's just much faster, much more efficient. Uh, let's take a look over here. Uh, as you can see, it's just nothing but printfs. Uh, there is this guy, uh, Z80 Daddy, or Z80 Dad, <laughs> Z80 Daddy. Um, and he has made uh, include files in libraries for Pascal. Uh, he does a great, uh, great breakdown of how he, how he did this and why he did it the way he did. Um, I'll put the link to his video down in my description. Um, long story short, before I take too much of your time, long story short, he did uh, BIOS calls to print um, ASCII characters directly to the console, uh, which would work well. However, um, I can't quite do that because the functions aren't interchangeable in Pascal and in C. So I know that printf is a very big loaded function, but until I figure out how until I figure out how to uh, convert um, integers to strings uh, very easily or very efficiently, it's going to be printfs for now. But don't worry, uh, you'll see. Uh, using the high tech C compiler, it works very well. So uh, let me switch cameras and we'll start up my Z80 board. Okay, so here we are. We are now. Uh, in my uh, Z80 board. Um, well, excuse me, let me reach over here and just hit the reset button. Oh, there we are. Uh, now let's boot into it. Let's do Z. Uh, let us go to J drive. Okay, so this here, um, H, this right here is my Aztec C. Uh, test implementation. The the include file is actually exactly the same. Um, just the test file is going to be a bit different. So there's that. If we can take a look at the test.c, just so that you can see. Um, in terms of uh, doing random numbers is different in SXC versus um, versus High tech C. High tech C is much more compliant with the actual C standard. So as you can see, it's very, very small uh, test file. I already have it compiled, so let's run it. Um, I'm going to run it using the Aztec C and then the high tech C compiler, and I'll put them side by side, and I will uh, display the times just so that you know, that you know uh, which one's faster. Uh, remember. Um, the Aztec C only compiles to 8080, uh, 8080 opcodes, not Z80 opcodes. So let's run. Press the key. There we go. Interesting thing to note is take a look at the colors of the lines between these two tests. So what this test does is it prints 256 random, uh, randomly drawn lines, and because, um, and because the commands are sent over UART using essentially uh, terminal escape codes, 
Drying the lines takes no time in terms for the Z80 processor. The only bottleneck is your bod, uh, is your bod, and uh, that's about it. Yep, this is the high tech C, uh, D T E test C. And as you can see, the uh, random number is set up a bit differently. Uh, I could um, use my Kanio.h file, but I haven't quite figured out how to use Kanio.h with Hitech C because Hitech C already has a Kanio.h file, but it doesn't have all the same functions that I do. I tried to make my Kanio.h file um, Turbo C compatible, MS DOS compatible. Uh, the one here only has certain uh, get key commands. And let's run it. Much faster. But again, take a note of those colors. Look at that, already done. Let's run it again. This is a high tech C implementation. No special optimizations. And this is the S X C implementation. And keep in mind, this is running on an 18 megahertz Z180. So. Your mileage may vary. Look how much longer it took. Okay, uh, there we go. And let me switch back. Okay, and uh, that's it. Uh, it's a very simple, uh, very simple file. Uh, I'll link my GitHub page for this project uh, down below, and uh, keep an eye on the README. Uh, the README will be updated. Uh, it's just so much stuff to put in. If you need to. Uh, go to the PyGFX page, which is, our, which is also linked to my GitHub, and there is a great uh, list of all the commands that are currently, that are currently in use. Um, they're all printf commands. Um, so again, all this, all this file does is just wrap them neatly uh, for you to use. And that's it. I just wanted to show you uh, this project that I've been working on, and I hope you uh, use it and have great fun with it. See you next time.